Hello everyone, and welcome to the final day of my Australia trip. Even though our time here may be coming to an end, that doesn't mean we are going to try and land a couple more tricks before we go. Now, I've had my eye on this uprail all trip, and that's because I want to do a flip out of it, just like this one that my boy Truth did right here. And now that's not the only thing we want to land. At the beginning of my trip, I settled to land all four 900s. So far, we've landed a backside 900, a frontside 900, and a switch backside 900. So now, the only one we have left is the cab 900. Hopefully, it will look just like this one I did here. And now, it should be easy, as I know how to do this trick, but I also know that adapting tricks to new features can present its own challenges. So, I'm excited to get after it. Started off in the upper rail, as well as doing some frontside sevens to build up my confidence for that cab nine. And then surprisingly, I learned something that I hadn't planned for the day. The idea arose to grab melon and then tail on my frontside sevens, and it worked out great. It was a fun little surprise for the day, but now the up rail flip was not coming as easy. I am terrified of trying the flip off of it, and I was doing my best to overcome the fear, but board slide after board slide, I just couldn't bring myself to commit to the trick. So I decided to take the L and walk away from it. I do really want to learn this trick, so I plan on doing what it takes to land it later this season. After our defeat, it was time to get back up and take on the cab 9. But unfortunately, this trick took a turn for the worse too. I figured I would start with a 540 and then work my way up to the 9 within a couple of tries, but I was falling on my cab 5s, which were supposed to be the warm-up trick. But I focused on staying calm and breaking down the trick until I could figure out what was wrong. And I realized I wasn't winding up properly, nor was I following through with my arms enough. So I implemented my findings and I started to make some progress. I got a cap seven and then I decided to go for the nine. And after two bails, I finally landed it. <laughs> forgot how to spin cab. Eventually I realized I wasn't winding up enough and, and the nerves were there too. I was just kind of scared of the jump. But man, it felt so good to land that at the end. I almost felt like landing a, like learning a new trick just because I battled it all day. Oh man, that was crazy, but felt good and it's more learning on it, but yeah, that was, a, that was a good battle. All right, time to head back to Whistler. Well, we're home now, and what a great trip that was. It was so fun down there, working with a great crew, good weather. It honestly couldn't have gone any better, really. And I certainly didn't expect to make a video down there that would amass 3.4 million views. That was crazy. Yeah, what a trip that that's been. It's been such a surreal experience to watch that video grow. Prior to its posting, I think my most viewed video was like 9,000 views and the channel was sitting around 930 subs. Now we're well over 8,000 and that actually got the channel monetized, which is kind of a big deal for me because all my life I've wanted to support myself doing what I love and this is the first time that I've actually done that to some degree. So that's been really cool for me. And I actually used some of the funds to buy this lens here. So we'll be using this to film in the back country this winter, which I'm really excited about. And the mountain here, Whistler Blackcomb, is actually already open. So we've been riding and filming for the last week or so. And you can look forward to that in the next video. But for now, that's all the time we got. So I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.